that way I love it. Do you play NBA 2K? Yes, I played it, and uh, not good at it, but <laughs> you know, a lot of people do it for different things, for therapy to relax. Middleton has been underrated for so long that now is he rated? Giannis Adentacumpo said people don't know how much Chris has sacrificed for this team to be great. He could easily be a 25 point per game scorer in the league but he just wants to win. He knows that by doing that everything else is going to take care of itself. Kevin? Well, he's an all-star teammate David as you point out in that story. Thank you. So a look at our starters for the Knicks. Randall and Robinson make up the inside pair. Then there's Derek Rose. Then it's Barrett. And for Milwaukee, at the guard positions, Holiday and DiVincenzo. Portis is out there with Ojale. And it's Middleton in at the three spot. And Greg, at this point in the year, if your system overall doesn't seem to be working, how much can you really change before the offseason? Well, usually a system change would come with a coaching change, but sometimes it's not the system and sometimes you just need a different voice and keep in mind you also have to evaluate that roster and find out if the players on that roster are a good match for the system and that'll start us off already you can feel the tension in this arena boy i tell you you're right you can feel this one looking like it's going to be a tight one throughout now here's middleton Kicks it to Holiday. Back to Middleton. Beyond the clock. Over Randall. Robinson pulls it in. And so it's Randall bringing it up now for the Knicks. They're moving on after the tough loss they took at the hands of Miami. What a duel that was. Exciting all the way to the end. Really a shame someone had to walk away with an L. I tell you, it's too bad one of them had to lose because I thought both teams were evenly matched in that game. Two points. That one goes. Robinson's got his second basket of the night. And, and getting after it on the offensive glass and adding to that early total with the putback. How about early attack mode? I love the approach he's coming to this game with. Really strong. Now here's Middleton. His last outing, 16 points for him. Well, you've got to be there defensively. I mean, that's an easy mid-range jumper that he'll typically drain. In last season, Middleton adding to his game. Played more of a playmaking role. Great assist numbers for him. Yeah, I mean, maybe could have tried for a more memorable dunk than that. And we know he's capable of those memorable ones. Hey, they've got a nice, comfortable lead here, fellas. Might as well keep it simple. Do it a plain, simple one-hander, just like pound cake. Randall no good. 
And for Middleton, he is not the primary ball handler, but Greg, he can fill in from time to time. And capable of playing the point forward if needed. Make, just make smart, simple plays. Great option to initiate the offense to kind of give you a different look. And they don't want to get in a habit of giving him open looks from three. First quarter still, but not who you want to leave open. And Milwaukee calls their first time out of the game. A tough loss coming against Cleveland in their last game play. Yeah, lots of sloppy play in that one. Several key miscues. They, they just couldn't overcome the mistake. Well, you know, you got to take care of the basketball. Hopefully, they learn from that game and are better going forward. They need to stop this run. You know what, Kev? I think it's time to switch some things up, either by going to your bench or with a different look defensively to disrupt their rhythm. Now, here's DiVincenzo. He's coming off a 16-point game against the Cavaliers in Cleveland. And a little over two and a half minutes gone here in the first. Kept alive. The second chance effort. Trying to get open is Randall. Can't capitalize inside. Bucks trail by nine. DiVincenzo passes to Middleton. Here's Ojale. Robinson with the block. And it goes out of bounds. That one off Robinson. Pat Connaughton, he's checked in for the Bucks. MP's checked in for New York. Here's Connaughton. Looking at his point production, he averages almost eight points a game. Here's Middleton. It's rebounded by New York. This time they met in New York. And the last time these two met, they were able to get a big win because of that bench production. Second unit might be a factor in this one as well. And you know what? If they run away with this game like they did in that one, uh, I'd expect to see plenty of minutes again for the guys coming off the bench. Now, here's DiVincenzo following the miss by Derrick Rose. And the shot is good. Well, DiVincenzo knows how to create for himself. Finds an opening and quickly takes advantage. Rose passes to MP. Holiday against Rose. To the paint. Got a piece of it. Oh, that's blocked. And they're running. Here's DiVincenzo. Robinson with the block. They get it back. Again with the block. You've got to have a better effort against him. Sending back everything. Here's Portis. It's good. The assist that time from Holiday. I tell you what, he clearly is one of the best players in the league who does not get the same kind of gas that other guys do. But there's no better all-around guard in the NBA than Drew Holiday. Now, here is Robinson. Six points for him. Here's Rose. It's blocked. And the foul called on MP. MP. That is his first foul of the game. First personal foul. First team foul. Checking in for the next. And here's Culper. Nine points last game out. So the wing on the left. And Cousins gets it to go. You know, I really enjoy watching Cousins go to work deep inside. I mean, it feels like, to me, nobody can guard him down there. We've got 22 seconds left here in the first quarter. And it's quickly missing. Bucks trail by three. Allen outside. Here's Culver to the inside. From 12 feet out, 
And the last second attempt doesn't fall. A good close contest so far as we finish the first quarter. Knicks out front. They're up by three. And we'll get going after this from Milwaukee. And a valued reserve for the Bucks. Pat Connaughton was asked about the depth of this team. I've been saying it for a long time. You know, we have much more depth than I think people realize. You know, I honestly think through the roster one to 15, you have guys that you know would be rotation players on any other team. And he's a prime example. The former second-round pick continuing to improve refining his perimeter shot Kevin and as we've seen he can play above the rim as well and some good action in the books as we get back to the game that's been pretty close here so far and guys what's your take on the Knicks so far well this is the edge that great rim protection can give you yeah you know you have a guy in there blocking a bunch of shots or multiple players blocking shots it causes the offense to think twice when they go up for shots in there Setting the floor for the Knicks. They've got MD. Emmanuel quickly out there with Alec Burks. Then there's Toppin. And it's Craig in at the three. Now we've seen mid-range jumpers lose favor, but Clark, it seems like the floater is on the rise. Kevin, it's a must-have shot in today's game. Because of the lane being open as much as it is the way the game is officiated, where you can drive it and create foul situations. Smaller guys that get in the lane have to have a shot that can avoid taller defenders, and the floater is that shot. It's a chance now to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Checking in for the day. Thank you, Kevin. Well, with the addition of Drew Holiday, this Bucks team has gotten even better. Giannis Adentacumpo said, we've got a lot of talent and great players. I really believe in this group. As long as we stay healthy, we'll find a way to compete every night and give ourselves a chance. Guys? David, they're stacked, that's for sure. Thanks. And despite those shooting problems in the first quarter, they have the lead and look like they're finally getting it together offensively. Now, here's quickly. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. To end the run... Outside for Randall. Hands it from downtown. Randall. You know, he's evolving his offense over time, Julius Randall. And I think the coaching staff is happy to see it. They like to see him take and make these shots. Randall against Cousins. Pass to Allen. And it's blocked. Now Randall. And looking at his production, he averages a little more than seven points a game. Well, that's a look. He has to finish, and he knows it. Lone opportunity. Here's Ojale. Allen, right side. He kicks it to Culver. Down to five on the shot clock. And no good. And New York the other way now. They owes the Kings after this game. That game marks the first half of a quick two-game homestand. And the call on the shot sends him to the line. That's his first first Let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for Milwaukee. Fellas, they're passing the ball the way you're supposed to here in this first half. Line for two. Something else they've been able to do so far tonight is earn those tough points in the paint. And he makes the first. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. So Holiday will bring it up for the Bucks. They trail by one. Two 
and Holiday throws it down. Okay. Boy, don't let his position as a point guard fool you now. Holiday can flush it with ease. And Holiday just does so much Holiday on the hurts. floor, but for me, defense is his number one attribute. He, he's arguably the best perimeter defender in the league. Here's Holiday after Alec Burks' score. Holiday looking for an opening. Pocket six. Shoots from 12. The shot is good. It's his second bucket in five tries. Holiday, an elite defender, Greg, as you said, makes life difficult for opposing guards. And he does a great job of playing deep with his feet. Comes up with some blocks and steals each game as well. Never gets lost on a play. Bryant. And again, New York with the triple. Just focusing on the task at hand. That's all you can do. Yeah, these teams trading punches right now. I mean, it's table tennis. Back and forth we go. Now here is Holiday. 14 points from him the last game against Cleveland. Down low. Here's Middleton. They get it again. Nice yet again. And the layup is good. Well, I tell you what, Middleton getting his hands dirty inside on the glass. We know he can shoot it from outside. But inside points are bonus. Even Genzo against Burks. And there's the pass to Barrett. There's 39 seconds left here in the second. For Milwaukee, they've gone 6 of 10 from the floor here in the second quarter. Now, here's DiVincenzo. He provides a good amount of offense for the team, averaging around 11.5 points a game. New York's gone 3 of 4 from long range in the game. To the middle, here's Randall. That shot is off. Great D that time from Portis. Kicks it down to Middleton. And a miss there on the triple. Tie game in Milwaukee. And don't go away. After the break, we'll see you right back here for the start of the third quarter. Have a basketball upon us. We may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game it's been so far. Now you have to like what you're seeing, guys, from Mitchell Robinson. He's done a fantastic job of finding open space to operate within the first few quarters. And you know what? It helped that they had a few guys with very hot hands on the perimeter, too. The wingmen, Deep in Genzo and Middleton. Ojale is out there with Portis, and it's Holiday in at the point. They're the group for Mike Budenholzer starting the second half. Now, here's Barrett following the shot by Drew Holiday. Here's Randall in the corner, Barrett with it. And the layup falls. RJ Barrett. Barrett's got the first points to start out the third quarter for the Knicks. And you like the toughness there. Barrett being more comfortable having to deal with an aggressive defense. Nash to Holiday. Over Rose. And too long on the shot. The Knicks with the lead. Second half of basketball, just over a minute played so far. A floater, a rebound by the Bucks. Middleton's got rebound number five here tonight. Boy, you talk about three and D guys. Middleton is the epitome of that player. Great range, mid-range game, can defend multiple positions. He does all of that at an elite level. Boy, at the offensive end, his game is so impressive. I mean, he's a threat every time up the floor. Inside, here's Barrett, and Barrett slams it in. Rose, a very solid floor general. I think that's an underrated part of his game. He's excellent at finding his teammates. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. You know, Clark, many view Middleton as the prototypical perimeter point. I would not disagree at all. He does everything and does it all well.
The Bucks trail. DiVincenzo kicks to Collinson. Cousins, no good. Just one for four from the field. Not the way they wanted to start the second half. Rose passes to MP. And MP throws it down. Oh, powerful finish. That's the intensity MP brings. Firing up his teammates. DiVincenzo finds Cousins. Here's Moore. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. The shot's good from DiVincenzo. A total defensive collapse. I mean, no reason to allow him that kind of space from behind the arc. Rose against DiVincenzo. Outside Rose. Down low. Just five on the clock. MP kicks to Rose. The tray drills the three-pointer. Rose. Rose has got his first three points of the game. And defensively, they've gotten a little careless, not playing with the same focus we saw in the first. Even Genzo with it. Now defended by MP. And it's good. Two points. Even Genzo's got five points in the quarter. Even Genzo with the nice touch on the inside shot. Boy, he really knows how to make it work at close range. Here's Craig. Rebound, Milwaukee. Now you can't look at the result of that shot. They'll take that whenever they get it. Well, you know, I hear you. That's a good look, but when you're that wide open, I think you got to knock it down. Now, here's DiVincenzo. Seven points in the game. In the third quarter with just over three and a half minutes off the clock. To the middle, here's MP. Toppin passes to MP. Here's Connaughton. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Driving in. Passes to DiVincenzo. Kicks to Allen. Over Rose. That doesn't go on the chance to tie. And the rebound battle split evenly thus far. Yeah, tip the tap on the glass. Just one more aspect of what's been a very closely contested ball game here. And those plays can make a difference in a game like this. <laughs> well, you know it's going to fire up, Greg, everybody on that bench. Making a statement for sure. I mean, we'll see if they can maintain that aggressive approach, guys. They can go two for one. It's about being smart right now. Pass to quickly. Misses the three. Bucks have gone four of nine for the four so far in the third. Here's DiVincenzo. And he dunks it down. Hey, why settle for the layup when you can dunk? DiVincenzo put it on the show on that drive. And this will be the last possession of the quarter if they're patient. Yeah, they've got to hold for the last shot here. Good work there as it goes. And Kevin, after being unable to find the net in the first half, they sure seem to be a different team here in the second. Exactly. I mean, finding their stride offensively, and they're on top on the scoreboard, and things are looking pretty good for them right now. And we just finished the third quarter, and we've got a tight ball game here. Knicks lead by two. And do not go away as we'll be back in just a few moments with the start of our fourth quarter coming up next. Let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. And he sliced the D wide open with his feet. They had no chance to prevent that basket. Yeah, that's just a brilliant read of the defense. I mean, it was also excellent anticipation of the movement of his teammates before the pass. Just great harmony on all sides. We've reached the fourth quarter. What has been a very competitive game should be an exciting finish. And on the floor for New York here in the fourth. In the forward positions, Barrett and Randall. Then it's Robinson. Then there's Alec Burks. And Barrett gets it to go. 
And in the first half, it was a struggle offensively, shooting a very low percentage, but it hasn't prevented them from grabbing the lead, and, and now they're shooting it much better here in the second. Here's Middleton. Can't hit from 12. The Knicks leading by four. To the paint. Here's Barrett. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. And at the offensive end, he's done about as much as they could have hoped for today. Over with it. The pass to Middleton. And Holiday gets to Middleton. Portis against Robinson. Portis can't get it to go. And so it's Burks bringing it up now for the Knicks. Fourth quarter, still young, just over a minute play. And he gets the bucket. And they've done some nice work as we've come down the stretch here in the final quarter. You can feel the sense of urgency they have to get this thing closed out as soon as possible. Now here is Holiday. Knicks with the rebound. Burks has got four rebounds in this game. There at the vast Durango. And Randall throws it down. Nice play, and you can see they're gathering momentum. You know, they need to stay aggressive here. Build the lead up while they've got the chance. Don't waste this opportunity. A powerful rush with a long hang on the rim at the end of that. that could be, you know, that could be a catalyst for him. It really could. We've seen those kinds of plays get them going in the past. New York calls timeout. MP comes in for Mitchell Robinson. And Derrick Rose is subbed in for Alec Burks. Pass to Barron. Fires for three. New York, no good that time either. You know, after connecting on one three-pointer in the first half, he hasn't netted another one since. Here's Middleton. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. That's his first personal foul. Middleton so highly productive and consistent. A steady contributor night in and night out. And guys, let's get your take on the hustle stats for New York. You know, block shots, guys, a clear indicator on the stat sheet of their excellent defense. I mean, leaving them no room to get off any shots. And also, their second chance points have been a story all night as well. That That's just pure effort and hustle. And that one falls for Middleton. And he makes both free throws. He's as solid as it gets from the line. I mean, give him the opportunity. He's cashing in on those. MP outside. Angle right side. Goes up the baseline. It's rebounded by Portis. Portis has got four rebounds now tonight. Rose against Holiday. Middleton on the wing. For Barrett. Middleton can't get it to go. The Knicks leading by six. Outside Rose to the inside. Here's MP. Yes, and it's Rose with the assist that time. 
Rose has got assist number five here tonight. MP brings so much to the court, including toughness. Clear contact on the shot, and he's still able to power through it. That's great concentration. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. They're trailing by eight. 156 left in the fourth quarter. advantage of a D that was reluctant to get in his way. There must be something about playing in a hostile environment that drives him. He is really fed off that. And let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Alton. Hey guys, I was able to listen to what Mike Bodenholzer told his team during that timeout. He said he just wants them to play faster. It feels like they've been too lackadaisical with the ball and that their aggressiveness just isn't there right now. Kevin, back to you. Thanks, David. The drive by MP. So once MP gets going, he does not stop. Full commitment on the drive. Bucks trail by 10. And here's Holiday. The 10 foot. Another shot. Portis. No luck. They batted on the glass, but could not knock it down. And now as the clock ticks down, this is going to end up as a solid victory here for the Knicks. In the end, they had a better shooting percentage, and that's what made the difference. Sometimes, you know, things go your way. The other team wasn't catching many lucky breaks themselves. Yeah, and, and Kevin, not all about luck. I thought their overall shot selection was better. And now, on the year, this will take them to 28 wins. And in this era of great parity, boy, it takes a lot to sweep an opponent in four straight games, but that's exactly how they finished off their season series here tonight against Milwaukee. A fantastic show. And, and what an amazing all-around game it was for Robinson. Well, he was swatting shots all game long, really owned the defensive end, and got a ton of blocks and really protected that rim. DiVincenzo passes to Ports. And yes, it's good. Yeah, I love the communication and the chemistry between those teammates. The clock now can just run out for the Knicks. In the corner, it's MP. Passes it to Randall. Outside Rose. Here's MP. It's off. So no problem for New York as they get the win. A solid win on the road for them. This building was dead silent by the time GA this one wound down. And that's what you want to do. Take the crowd out of it by crunch time. Don't give them any chance to lift their team up at the finish. And that'll do it, folks. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. So long and good night, everyone.
I know you follow the NBA right now. What teams are surprising you the most? Um, the five teams this year, Memphis, Cleveland, Chicago. Uh, Memphis got John Durant. And those will be our starters. Some intriguing matchups on the floor tonight. Sit tight. We'll be back in just a moment. basketball fans you've got it on 2k sports as we get set to bring you exciting nba action brian anderson here with you our analysts tonight chris weber and grant hill also ali laforce on the sidelines now the starting group for the sacramento kings mitchell and halliburton the guards barnes is the four with holmes in the middle and it's harkless in at the small forward and for new york inside we have randall and robinson then it's R.J. Barrett, then there's Derrick Rose. And Grant, as you watch the league since you retired, what do you think is the biggest change? Well, you started to see the three-point boom change towards the end of my career. And of course, also, how centers are used is probably the biggest change of them all. Outside Barrett. Rose outside. He drops in the layup off the glass. Nice way to start the game. That's where you'd like to get your shots from. Mitchell against Rose. 
Left side, Mitchell. Pass to Holmes. Shot from 16, and he connects with a jumper. And you got to defend better than that. I mean, that's a good look for him. Oh, yeah, that's one of his go-to spots. I mean, you have to pressure him in that mid-range area. Now here's Rose. And right now, he's currently putting up six and a half points per game. From about 16, Randall can't hit. About a minute into this first quarter. Here's Harkless. Halliburton with the ball. His offense has been solid, scoring around 11 and a half points a game. Five on the clock. Late clock here. The Kings need to get one up. And it's off from three-point range. It's fair to say he has exceeded expectations so far. Now here's Barrett. We saw him with 11 points in his last game. Over Mitchell. Shot is good by Barrett. And here's Halliburton. And Halliburton wants to keep getting better. Chris, you can see the drive and passion he plays with. Yeah, and that's a very admirable trait to possess. Taking pride and showing up. Here's Mitchell. In his last outing, 10 points for him. Up and in on the layup. Just taking it right to the rim. And no one was there to greet him. Yeah, very little resistance. I mean, you had to bring much faster help than that. Now here's Rose from 10 feet away. And he can't bank that one in. Rose against Mitchell. Here's Barnes. Chance there to take the lead, but a miss. I don't think the D does good enough here. But something causes the miss. The putback. Oh, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. No. Oh, this is what makes Randall so special. His ferocity on the board is admirable. Pass to Harkless. Outside Mitchell for three. It doesn't go for him. New York goes the other way with it. They defeated Milwaukee in their last game. And guys, those road games are never easy. But they had a solid strategy going in and stuck to what they do best. Staying with your game plan is so important, especially when you are away from your home arena. The rebound by Harkless. I mean, he struggles with his finishes sometimes. I mean, it's kept him from being an elite player. Pass to Mitchell. Back to Barnes. The floater, and that's two points on the layup. That's no run of the mill finish by Barnes right now. He's thrown off balance by the contact, keeps his focus, stays with it, and gets it to go. Now a timeout called by New York. This is the first they're seeing of Sacramento. They should have steamrolled this club last year, but that's not how it played out. Quarter of action, just under three and a half minutes played. Pass to Barrett. Here's Toppin. He's covered by Bagley. Back to Toppin. Burks with it. Now MP. Puck is at three. No good. Nice D from Thompson. Burks against Davis. To the paint. Here's Bagley. That's in there. Davis with the assist. That's right, what a strong finish by Bagley. Getting physical to overcome the contact and get a shot. Quickly outside. 
Goes up with the strike. And the Knicks miss again. Oh, he found the open space from mid-range. Just maybe rushed his release a little bit. To the middle. Oh, deflected. Here's Bagley. And he banks in the layup. Bagley's got his second basket on the night. He's finding some good shots early on. And what you like about him, he's not trying to do too much. Pass to Toppin. There's 21 seconds left now in the first quarter. MP finds quickly. Back to MP. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. That's his first personal. It's going to go on Tristan Thompson. Will never question MP's tough boys. I mean, he's willing to take a few MP. lumps down low if it means points <laughs> or a trip to the line. No good on that one. Well, before MP made it to the league, we all saw his stuff on social media, and it's been fun to watch MP grow over the years. Good on the second one. 12 seconds left in the first quarter. Here's Davis. Here's Bagley. Soft touch off the glass. Bagley's got six. A tenacious offensive rebound. I mean, Bagley uses his athleticism so well to collect second chance opportunities. And we've reached the end of the first quarter. The Kings on top, leading by five. And back to the start of the second quarter in just a moment. And a first-time All-Star in 2021. For Julius Randle, his newfound confidence shooting from outside unlocked the rest of his game. It's really just all about um, just me getting into my shot quick uh, and just, you know, everything with my shot. It starts with my base and my feet and my footwork. And uh, that's really all it is, making sure I have a strong base and moving my legs, uh, just getting into my shot with speed. It's always fun to get back to that. Getting that power from the legs, Grant. Yeah, that's important, launching from deep. For shooters, there's usually that one thing they key in on, and that's his. Hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. Halfway through the first half of this one. And guys, for the Kings, what jumps out at you stat-wise? Give it up for their D. They're battling, communicating, and coming up with key stops. No question. It's been stifling thus far, preventing that offense from establishing any kind of rhythm. Taking a look at the Kings. Terrence Davis out there with Emmanuel Moutier. Then it's Alex Lynn. Then it's Gary Harris. And it's Bagley in at the four-man position. First free throw is good. And the NBA is always a coaching carousel, Chris. Sometimes teams just want a new voice. You think that can make a difference? Oh, yeah, I've seen it. It does. I mean, a fresh start can sometimes energize the team. It wakes players up to, to dig a little deeper. And finally, it puts everyone on notice to say, listen, we, we, we found the problem. Now, if we keep losing, you could be next. So one for two that time at the strike. And looking at Marvin Bagley, the talent is evident. A big man that can go out and get you a double-double any night plays with just an infectious energy too he gets it in there inside the paint mp plays with real heart not allowing the defense to discourage him harris against craig harris outside right side davis six to shoot Here's Moutier, guarded by Quickly. Moutier, that's good. Moutier's got his first points of the game. When it comes to Bagley, one question mark I have is his health. And if he might be injury-prone, Grant. Well, the good news, B.A., for him is that he's young. Hopefully he's able to shake off these nagging injuries. Let's face it, the more he's on the court, the more confidence he'll gain. Noel, he's checked in for Toppin. Harkless has checked in for the Kings. 
quarter number two with just over a minute to play. Here's Bagley. Good efficiency. He's dreamed four out of five. We've seen that more than once today. An effortless basket inside. Davis against Burks. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. Yeah, you never want to let shots at the rim go uncontested. First team. All right, guys, some stats here. The scoring breakdown for the Kings. They've been effectively aggressive here in the first half. Driving to the hoop with authority and getting a lot of their points right at the rim. Also, their passing has been terrific in the first half. They'll be happy with all those assists. And the first one at the line is good. So both teams changing it up here. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. And just about a minute and a half has passed here in the second quarter. Halliburton, the pass to Barnes. He's looking good. Harrison Two buckets Barnes. and three attempts. Oh, the muscle and focus on display right there. Barnes, not easy trying to distract him from there. Down low. Here's Randall. And the jumper from down low is true. Randall's got his second basket of the game. It was a rough start for them scoring the ball, but they look like now they're really finding their rhythm and flow. Holmes finds Mitchell. Here's Harkless. That one's good. Mitchell making the play. I'll tell you what, their execution just continues to impress. Inside, here's Randall. No luck on that one. Ooh, excellent D there from Barnes. Halliburton on the wing. Second quarter play, almost three minutes gone here. Here's Harkless. He had nine points in his last time out. Four on the clock. Pass to Mitchell. Fires the three. And the rebound goes to the Knicks. Randall's got four rebounds now. Here's Burks. Oh, not wasting any time and taking the shot and hitting it. Good anticipation on the feed. Huh? Knows exactly where to go with that ball. Halliburton on the wing. Defended by Burks. Here in the second quarter, just under three and a half minutes play. On the attack, Rose. Barnes with the rebound. The Kings leading. One thing about Derrick Rose that's never changed over the years, Grant, is his ability to come through in the clutch. When a big basket is needed, he's the guy you want on the court. Well, how many times have we seen it? In the game situation, Rose in an isolation set. And even against a double team, he finds a way to shake free and get the bucket. As dependable as it gets when the pressure's on. So at Sacramento now, following the bucket by the Knicks, Hard work on the boards. A lot of competition for that one, but he's got the lift to be the first one, too. Randall, pass to Rose. There's 53 seconds left in the first half. Good work defensively by Mitchell. To the inside. Here's Barnes. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. first personal. The personal skill set of Harrison Barnes can be such a difference the making whatever you need from him Harrison to give it to. He's able to fill line. in those little gaps on the floor. And he makes a first. At this stage of his career, Barnes knows who he is. He's a glue guy. Who does a bit of everything out there. So New York ends up going with a whole new group. And a new group getting ready for the Kings. Thompson, he's checked in for Holmes. Bagley comes in for Harkless. Harris is checked in for Halliburton. And it's Moutier in for Mitchell. Oh, 
Both free throws good from Barnes. I love it. In attack mode. Drawing foul calls this quarter and getting to the free throw line. Now quickly. What? No scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Now that's how you use the screen right there. And it leads to a thunderous finish. That was nice. Yeah, coach is definitely pleased. That's the execution he loves to see. Now here's Thompson. They lead by four. Pass to Bagley. Out to Harris. Two second difference between shot and game clock. Goes back up. Here's Moutier. Here's Barnes. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Sees a shooter like Barnes. Isn't going to back down. He puts up the shot and draws the foul. At the line. Two shots. one falls for him. Both free throws good from Barnes. Oh, he's never rattled at the strike. Always has that nice soft touch on his free throws. And so it's Sacramento leading by six as we wrap up the quarter. Their key to consistency has been their dominance in the paint. They've been the more physical team. And more NBA action on 2K Sports coming your way right after this. through this one. Plenty of basketball left in a game that's been a fairly even one. Marvin Bagley really making a difference here. And in the first half, he dominated in the post. He got the looks he wanted and was able to execute. Bringing the physicality. I mean, they kept working it to him, and he kept delivering. Barrett plays the small forward with Randall in at the four. Then there's Derrick Rose. Then there's Mitchell Robinson. That's Tom Thibodeau's five as we get going in the second half. Now here's Barrett. Hauled in by the Kings. Well, we're looking at Rashawn Holmes. I mean, the first thing that sticks out is his energy. He's out there. He doesn't stop working. And he just driving the stake in him there. He's a guy who just never lets up. What a performer this guy is. He relishes the chance to hammer me down. Now here's Rose. Here's Randall. And he sinks that one, hitting the back of the rim on the way in. Randall's got six points. And Holmes is a solid rotational piece, whether starting or coming off the bench. Chris, he is really effective. Really uses his length to his advantage. He's stealing any chance to score inside. I, I love the hungry plays. Here's Mitchell. Looking at the numbers, he's putting up seven points a game. Halliburton outside. This one for three. He can't get it to go. New York trailing. Boy, they'd love if anyone could get a bucket. Yeah, their offense has been grinding to a halt. Outside Barrett. Pass to Randall. Back to Barrett. That's in. Coming off an assist from Randall. All five guys are in sync. Their ball movement is flawless. Outside Mitchell. Jacks up a three. It's rebounded by New York. Robinson's got his fourth rebound in this one. And they've been able to maintain this lead despite his inconsistency from the field. Down low. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. That's his first person. It's going to be on Tyrese Halliburton. At the line for the Knicks, Quentin Grimes. At the line, two shots.
And he knocks down the first one. So for the Knicks. MP's checked in for Robinson. Noel comes in for Julius Randle. And it's Burks in for Rose. Lenz checked in for the Kings. Davis comes in for Barnes. And he makes both free throws. Here's Halliburton. Now quiet so far offensively. Searching for his first points of the game. Pass to Mitchell. Here's Harkless. And the shot goes in. And the Kings lead by four. And that's exactly how you attack length. I love how he doesn't lack assertiveness. Oh, absolutely not. In his mind, no one can stop him on that. No matter the size. Outside Burks. Driving to the basket. Here's MP. And MP throws it down. You see the vertical MP has. Like he's able to get off the ground fast to throw it down. Right around three minutes into this second half. Now here's Halliburton. Pass to Mitchell. On the wing, Davis. Takes the three. The shot no good. New York goes the other way with it. Their next game playing at home as the Grizzlies come to town. That'll be the second and last game of a quick homestand. They've really picked up the energy level and have willed themselves back into this game. Yeah, true, but we'll see if they can keep forging ahead for now. We gotta give them credit for coming back. And now call Sacramento. And something fans don't always get to see. Some of the closely guarded secrets that happen in that huddle. Yeah, and, and sometimes it's the most subtle moves that make the biggest difference. Substitutions here. A little under three and a half minutes off the clock now in the third quarter. Here's Moutier, guarded by Quickly. Drives to the hoop. Moutier, no good. Davis finds Thompson. Another shot. Quickly with a rebound. And here's New York now. They've gone on a 10-2 run. Not allowing much. The shot's good. Keeping pace here. That's an excellent move inside. Sacramento has got nothing to fall from outside in this third quarter. Pass to Moutier. Now here's Bagley. And here's Davis. Defended by Craig. Davis, the pass to Harris. Over Barrett. And once again, off the mark by Sacramento. <laughs> the battle of the boards has been something to watch. Stolen by Davis. Shot clock and game clock. One second differential. Pass to Thompson. Here's Moutier. Guarded by Barrett. Loose. Davis against Craig. Here's Thompson. And the slam dunk by Thompson. Look, this is what Thompson wants every time. He wants to get near the rim and try to throw it down. Misses the jumper from the wing. It's a tie game in New York. And don't go away. We'll be back in a few moments. It'll be the fourth quarter of basketball coming up next. And while we have a chance, let's go to our State Farm Assist of the Game. 
You know, I'm kind of stoked that this was a choice because I love this pass. A remarkable find. He put his court vision on full display. Well, it's also called making a good read, understanding where everyone is and taking full advantage. Fantastic. And with these teams locked in a very close contest, this fourth quarter promises to be a good one. All right, a look at the five for the Kings to start the fourth quarter. Barnes and Bagley in it forward together. Terrence Davis out there with Gary Harris. And it's Thompson in at the five. Here's Davis. Harris outside. Pass to Thompson. On the wing, Davis. Outside Barnes. Down to five on the shot clock. It's deflected. And he recovers it. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. That's an unforced error that will drive a coach crazy. Got to play heads up out there. Julius Randle's checked in for New York. Holmes, he's checked in for the Kings. Mitchell comes in for Davis. Rose finds Randall outside Robinson. Quickly from outside. Gets the three to fall. They're playing very well here in the second half. I mean, their shooting percentage is now over 50% from the field. Outside Barnes. Pass to Holmes. Now Backley. Checked by Randall. Randall against Bagley. Back to Holmes. Now here's Barnes. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. Randall against Barnes. Rose with it. Back to Randall. Over Holmes. And out of bounds. Sacramento will have it. Yeah, a communication breakdown. Two guys thinking in opposite directions. The pass winds up in the stands. Halliburton's checked in for Harris. The Kings trailing. About a minute and a half into the fourth now. Outside Mitchell. Barnes passes to Holmes. Five to shoot. To the paint. Here's Bagley. Good D by MP. Nick's shooting a nice 50% for the game. Back to Randall. It's Barrett on the wing. Back to Rose. Tip! I mean, that's just the activity on the defensive end. I love it. Bagley goes back to rejections. It helps fire him up. How about that strong defensive performance for this half's mobile one block? Yeah, just some terrific effort there. And you know the whole team will get an energy boost off a block like that one. So the Kings making a change here. Markless is checked in. Just five to shoot. The three. Barrett nails it from three. And the Knicks lead by six. Backing up that last three with another three. The defense has to stop giving them so many clean looks. Mitchell, the pass to Holmes. They double him with Barron. The three from Mitchell. Randall pulls down the board. Randall's got seven rebounds in the game. Halliburton against Barrett. To the middle. Here's MP. Perfect pass to set up the lay-in. You have to admire the focus. What body control from MP to finish off the shot. Timeout call. Sacramento. Yeah, they're hoping to turn things around with this timeout. Uh, yeah, they have to regroup it and revisit their strategy at the defensive end.
and now we present our new balance player of the game, Julius Randle. Yeah, and it's not surprising. He's really going at the defense inside throughout the entire game. And just showing the D no mercy whatsoever. They constantly were feeding him the ball, clearing out, and letting him do his thing. Wow, he really played phenomenal tonight. But we've almost come to expect that from him. He feeds off the energy from this crowd, and it certainly plays a part in elevating his game. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Allie. Hey, guys. Well, Luke Walton had some advice for the team over that last break. He focused on perimeter play at both ends. On D, he wants to prevent open looks from deep. And at their own end, he thinks they can create better shots with better ball movement. We'll see if he gets his wish. Back to you. And Allie, thank you for that. No, he's a solid team player. He doesn't always go for a shot. He enjoys getting it to the open teammate. Timeout called. The Knicks. Adjustments are a part of every game. In every quarter of a game. I think Coach sees something here. Yeah, I, I like the chess match that's going on here. Each team trying to find and exploit the favorable matchup on the floor. The Knicks with the lead. Pass to MP. Inside. Second shot opportunity. And it's good on the lay-in. MP's gotten four this quarter. And we know MP can make the highlight reel play. Right there, he shows you how he can make the hustle play, too. A look at the clock. A little under three and a half minutes gone by in the fourth. Mitchell, the pass to Holmes. Outside for Halliburton. Shot clock at six. The rebound by MP. MP's got four rebounds now. Rose outside. Pass to MP. Randall right side. Back to MP. Off target. That would have pushed the lead to double digits. For Sacramento, they've got one out of six shots to fall in this final quarter. Not ideal. Barnes with it. The three from Mitchell drills it from deep. And the defense is looking almost lost on the perimeter. That opens up a quality three-point shot, and he delivers. And he comes through at the perfect moment. I know who they'll look to if they need another big three again soon. Now here's MP. Unloads. And it comes off the front of the rim. On the wing, Mitchell. Pass to Holmes. Halliburton on the wing. Let's go with a three. The Knicks pull it in. And now we've got an intentional foul. That's his first personal. First team foul. Thirty seconds left to play in the fourth quarter of this one. And now they decide to foul intentionally. That's his first personal. Second team foul. At the line for the Knicks. Julius Randle. At the line, two shots. So the first one drops, and that increases the lead to six. And we've seen Randall Flores with more responsibility. He's in his prime and playing his best ball right now. And so both free throws good. And it's a seven-point game. Those free throws helping him to make the lead even safer. Time called here. The Kings decide to talk it over. They trail by seven. 29 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Let's see it, fans.
Mitchell against Rose. Back to Mitchell. Launches a three. Randall pulls down the board. This is why you want ball movement and player movement. And that's made it hard for the defense to key in on any one individual. On offense, MP has been locked in. Just going after shots, hitting them again and again. Harkless can't get it to go. Here's Rose. And so this one belongs to the Knicks. Even early on in this game, they appeared happy to be playing at home. And it makes a huge difference. Once they started to get into a groove, you never really felt like they wouldn't come out on top. And that'll do it, folks. For Chris Weber, Allie LaForce, and Grant Hill, I'm Brian Anderson. Thank you for tuning in to watch the NBA on 2K Sports. So long, everybody. Thank you.